My name is Rodney Mott. I started the Art Coach Project four years ago, and with the help of East Bay Clay, I visited thousands of students in over 800 classrooms. Thank you. You're awesome too. I think I remember some of you from laughter. Hey, thanks a lot for that. I started the project to support the students and the teachers and to help bring back a creative curriculum to public education. And how are you going to lead this community? How are you going to help this community? And if you have a lot of this word, I think you're going to do really well with that. What is that word? Let's say it out loud. Art. But what's it mean? What else? What is art? No wrong answers. Art is, uh, you can't mess up on it and you have to do perfect. Well, you can't mess up on it because you can just do any mark you, you don't want. have to do perfect. You don't have to make it perfect, but something that you do to have fun and something art. Yeah, it's art is fun. Art is Art is fun. All these answers are great. Oh, oh is, is dancing art? Yeah. Is music art? Yeah. Is, music art? Yeah. is cooking art? Yeah. Yes, these are the things that will keep you really healthy and happy. Shout out, why is that two-dimensional? Because it looks like it's flat. There you go. Because it's flat, it has no back. So what would this guitar be? Three-dimensional or two-dimensional? Three-dimensional. Okay, good. So when I'm warming up, I'm just starting. A lot of times I warm up with scribbles and dots and shapes. And people might say, oh, you're scribbling. No, I'm abstract here. There's two ways you can work. You can do abstract art, or you can represent things like figures and people and cars and birds and anything you want. What is a leader? A person who follows their dreams. That's a good answer. A person who follows their dreams. If I said this, leaders believe in blank. Themselves. So you guys are so smart. So, who can warm up in this class? Let's see. Let me see you warm up on your piece of paper. Who can make a mark on their piece of paper without being told what to do? Let me see. Let me see. Starting with an art talk, classes warm up on both sides of a blank sheet of paper with pencils, crayons, markers, whatever they choose. Then do it. He's made a mark on his page. This guy could be the president of the United States because he can work without being told what to do. Hold your picture up so we can clap for this guy too. You're a leader. You're so important. Keep going. But what we need to do is we need to balance our time on the computer with other things that get us a little dirtier, that get us a little more in the game. Like for instance, what did I bring today that would be on this side? Clay is a beautiful balancer with the computer. How about cooking? cooking? Yes, cooking. How about sewing? Yes, how about making music? Looking your, uh, looking your friend in the eye and talking to them versus talking to them on the computer. Both of these things are important and we want that balance. That's what we're gonna talk to you about. Something. If you enjoy doing something, then you practice it, you get something that's worth so much more than money. It's the best paycheck you'll ever get. If you warm up and practice something, you get this. You get this word. And if we can fill you with this, you're gonna be such a great human being. Say it out loud. Passion. Passion. Hey, what did I bring today to make art out of? Clay! Clay. And this, when I give it to the children, they sometimes say, oh, it's cold and it's wet. Yes, because it's real. Okay, to create. Oh, it's so cold. It feels good. Now, the more you touch it, it'll warm up. You warm it up with your hands. Oh. Tools. But guess what your best tools are? Your hands. Yeah, you guys get it, don't you? What is texture? How it feels? Right, pretty much. Is it rough? Is it smooth? Does it have ridges? Does it have mountains on it? Clay is great with texture. So when I look at Students are encouraged from the beginning to believe in their marks, to make fearless decisions, and to think for themselves. Yes,
So you're gonna maybe be um, hunting for artifacts and stuff when you get older, you know? Maybe you'll go around the world and discover things. I said, don't put it on Facebook, you're like, what? You've got texture on your clay, you've made sculpture, you've sculpted and molded it all by yourself, and you've learned by yourself. Impressive, impressive group. I like it. <laughs> Have Music is played, focus is established, and before long, clay is introduced. Students become sculptors, discoveries are made, and pieces are rounded back and baggied up. That's great. Wow, she made some great imprints. You have some really nice pots. Jay just saved the village and discovered pottery, so now we can drink our juice out of a cup. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Oh, we have our first volcano over here. This is like Vesuvius or something. There's volcanoes all over the world. So now you're doing like geology. During each visit, a blank sketchbook is passed around and everyone is asked to contribute their creation, their name, their mark. Marginalizing art has created a more needful, anxious society where medications and shopping often replace passion. Self-expression is the key to self-worth. Hopefully soon, art teachers will be flocking back to classrooms, empowering students with balance and a belief in themselves. All right, so he's got a big piece of clay, and here's the baggie. So if we put this big piece of clay in there, and we seal it up really good, it'll stay wet. And he'll be able to do some more sculpting with this tonight and tomorrow. Thank you. You guys fill my bucket. Be leaders. Believe in yourselves. Love you. See you.